video is on this attraction of half facts, and I'm not going to do too much detail on it. I refer you back to the doubles with the addition strategy video um, of how we can explore doubles because we don't want to relate that to the half facts. I think our students uh, really know their doubles facts, but they haven't related it to the half fact to recognize that. And the more that we understand it ourselves and, 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 and notice it when it happens, the more we can point it out to the students uh, when we see it occurring in any of our other math that we're doing. So the idea here is that showing the Cuisinier rods that if I have a total amount of 12, it can broke, be broken apart into the, the six and the six and the 14, seven and seven, and that 16 is eight and eight, and that 18 is nine and nine. So that when we are able to see that, let's say it's a 16 minus an eight, many students get into the habit of counting back the eight. They don't recognize that it's the inverse of the doubles fact. So the more we can bring it out to the students, just mention it to them and, and draw their attention to it, the more that they'll recognize it. Um, another great idea also would be to have uh, some cards and have the students go around the classroom where they would have a card in their hand. Um, you know, I do love the, uh, uh, the subvertising cards for our kiddos, particularly uh, K2 um, that are working on this. But so if I had this card on my forehead, my partner would tell me the double of it. So they would say, because oh, I wouldn't know what my card is. So I have it on my forehead facing out. A partner would look at my card. They say, okay, the double of that is 16. So then I have to think to myself, okay, what's half of 16? Oh, it must be eight. And then I can double check. Uh, the card on my forehead. Then we can kind of trade cards or pick a new one and go around the classroom. So it's a great uh, activator to get the kids up and moving a little bit, but also we're always relating that double and having, so that double and having um, activity is really fun. So anything we can do there to relate our doubles facts to the half facts is what we're looking for.